Well, guys, we got some bad news. Oh, shit. His leg has popped out again. We are at square one. Square one. This fucking nightmare continues. Un fucking believable. He is completely, totally crippled. Worse than he has ever been. Here it is, Sunday morning, 6 o'clock on a Sunday fucking morning in the, probably the most expensive state in the country. Every penny that has been spent on this dog has gone down the toilet. And I have a crippled little dog. He cannot, he will not take one step. You saw that. And take a wild guess how he threw his leg out. And you saw him yesterday. And he saw a goddamn chipmunk. And off he went at full tilt gallop. And reemerged with three legs. He can't walk, he can't pee, sure as hell can't shit. The little dog is fucked and I'm fucked. So here are my choices. Okay, choice number one, spend another uh, $800 to $1,000 to get it popped back in. They stick it back in for another $800 or $1,000 for a 50-50 chance. This could go on uh, forever. The surgery with an 85% chance is approximately $3,000 for him, you know, to, to get fucking uh, sliced up. I don't know what the third option is. Uh, does he spends the rest of his fucking life with his, uh, you know, with his leg popped out of his hip, with his leg just fucking hanging in the air. He, he won't take one step. He refuses to take one step. He can barely get up on three legs. So those are my three choices. <sighs> and of course it's Sunday morning on the 4th of July weekend now as this fucking nightmare continues. There's absolutely nothing that's going to happen today. He's just going to sit here like this.
I'm icing him down now. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this fucking bandage off. It's doing nothing at this point. And this is my life in the end times. Fucked. <laughs>